welcome back to the channel so yes we're here with another lovely craft for this Wednesday and I thought I was gonna have more like St. Patrick's Day stuff but I just I really I really don't there's not much you can really do for St. Patrick's Day aside from beer related stuff that I'm aware of or a wreath that I've already got so and those take a while so I'm trying to figure out some crafts that don't take that long for us to do um but I did think of well I didn't think of I saw on Pinterest so as you can tell probably by the title whether or not I passed or epically failed you be the judge but um so for this I found and I will put her link and everything down in the description so you can check out the original posting from Pinterest because this is not my original idea little disclaimer little disclaimer here this is not my original idea I did see it on Pinterest and I decided to make my own with my own little my own little twang to it I guess but um it is the sea witch jar spell and if I can I had to get something to put it in because it was leaking water on me a minute ago but this is what it is it's a cute little terrarium pretty much now you can make this in a jar if you want to they had this terrarium on sale and I like how it was like a little crystal so it's super cute I, I had to buy it plus it was 40 percent off at Michael's so it had to come home with me <laughs> but anyways so this is what we are making and I will go ahead and cut to the video on how I put this guy together and I will meet y'all back at the end okay so like I said for this project we're going to be making a sea witch jar or sea witch terrarium jar whichever one you prefer i did find this original concept on pinterest so i will put that link down below but i thought this would be a really cute idea and i figured i could put my own twist to it and don't see me make a fake terrarium so let's make a real terrarium which i haven't had any luck with but i'm going to try because i thought it was a really cute idea and a nice way to celebrate spring i guess since we're coming into that along with all of our spring witchcraft or you know spring rituals whatever you whatever you want to call it but so this is my terrarium that i'm using i picked this up from michael's it was 40 percent off so it was on sale it was originally i think 14.99 so i got it fairly cheap but i did have to go around the bottom of it if you can tell and i had to seal it with some hot glue just because i will be using sand in this on the bottom so I didn't want it to escape everywhere so that's my terrarium like I said I got that from Michaels um you will need a spoon I'm using my ritual spoon that I made you're going to need seashells if you don't have a variety like I do because I go to the beach all the time you can pick these up pretty much at any craft store or Dollar Tree Walmart any place right now is going to start having seashells just because it's getting summertime you will need some water you will need sand now i did get this from the beach the last time we went i went to polly's island here in south carolina so this is where that's from and i did what i was supposed to do i asked politely if i could bring this home with me and i've used it for a couple different projects i put this in like um i make christmas ornaments and some shadow boxes so that's what i use that for so there's that um for me i'm going to decorate the top with some little gems just to emphasize my little my little chant that I want to put in here. Now you will need a spell or an incantation or um like whatever whatever you want to infuse in this because what you're wanting to do is that as the plants that you picked out grow you want your you want your desire or you want your the thing whatever you're asking for you want it to grow and be prosperous along what as your plants are growing. It's the that's the whole point of kind of doing this and since I am a I fall under the element water, so I primarily do stuff that is water related or sea witch related or you know any kind of any kind of thing like that. So that's why I'm doing this. So and I made sure that my little incantation was along with that. And then you're going to need some dirt and whatever plants you want to use. I picked out some moss and we have these little blue flowers that grow in the yard and everything and I asked if I could have those so I have all that because I already have some dirt and stuff so let's start putting this together before I ramble on way entirely too much so the first thing you're going to do and I hope y'all can see since it is glass I hope y'all can see what I'm doing but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your sand in the bottom so I'm just going to fill it to a desired level see why I wanted to seal my terrarium Okay, I think that's good. And 
time so I take my spoon and smear it out just a hair. I hope nothing is escaping. So there's all of that. Now I'm going to get all my plants. My soil that I'm going to use is actually under my plants. So, and if you want to, you can you know go out and buy plants, but I just use whatever was in the yard, just because that's some more earthy, natural kind of thing. Plus, it's cheap, so it makes this craft super, super cheap. So, and I'm going to do, and you can also put activated charcoal in here, but that's entirely up to you. I'm not because this soil has already been treated, but this is some that I use for the garden. So. I'm just going to lay this in here, nice and neat. And pack it in. Okay, now is at this point you want to put your little incantation, you want to put it in the soil and you want to cover that up. So you want to do a nice thin layer of soil to start off with and then really kind of pack it on here. And then once you have everything in there all nice and packed down, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Okay. So once you have everything all nice and packed down, you can start placing your plants. I want to put my flower right kind of in the middle. Push that down in there really good. And then I'm just going to use my moss and fill in all the extra areas. So I'm just gently going to tug that apart and place it around. And pack it in. Because I'm just going to gently kind of loosen it. And just pack that in. Again, I'm going to do the same thing with this. Gently kind of tug it apart and then just use it to fill in any blank spaces. Okay, and then once that is done, clean up my mess of teeth a bit and I'll put that back outside in the morning and then I'm just going to decorate with my shells. reinforce that I want the element water to kind of help me with my little endeavor. Plus it, I don't know, it gives it a cute little look there. Alrighty, and then all you're going to do Alright, and that is it, everybody. Isn't that really cute? It's really pretty. But yeah, there we go. That is done, and that is as simple as it gets. And I just need to put this in the sun and let it grow. Okay, 
Okay, so what do you think? Did I pass or did I fail? Typically fail. So I think I epically failed because it does leak a little bit. But other than that, it turned out pretty good. Not as good as I thought it was going to be, honestly. Well, I'll just I'll say that wrong. I thought it was going to be end up being worse. There we go. Yeah, because just my terrarium has all these little cuts and stuff in it. So I tried to seal them up as best I could. But, you know, it's still, it's still slightly leaking on me. But either way. So the purpose of this, and if you believe in this or not, you know, have at you. I believe that, you know, a little extra reinforcement from Mother Nature and from the ocean is never a bad thing. Now, as I said, it's supposed to be a spell, but for me, I didn't really write a spell. I'm more, you know, like when you do bay leaves and you burn them, if anybody's familiar with that, um, you're supposed to release what you want into the universe to help you with the old push there and if anybody has anything negative to say about this this is a religion and I could I, I will come back at you <laughs> I will come back at you so just that actually I might I'll more than likely delete you because I'm not gonna deal with it but um anyways it's up to you about what you believe but I figured you know I just do something cute and I put the I put my little thing about what I wanted in the soil as y'all saw in the video just to hopefully help me I'm putting in the effort and everything. I just gotta do a little bit of extra. This is my praying to the universe. For some people, you know, pray to pray to God or stuff. I'm praying to I'm praying to the element water and Mother Nature to help me out there. Just give me that little hope, little hope. But um, yeah, so it's not really like a spell or anything because I'm gonna put up another video um, later on at some point because I'm still up in the air about doing it, you know, different tutorials I've done, witchcraft and all that. So, this I tried to keep it more Wicca than witch, and I'll, that, that will get explained in the next video that I probably post on Monday, but, um, so yeah, so this is my little terrarium, my little Pinterest terrarium, is what I'm going to call it. I think it ended up being pretty cute, aside from the fact that I knew the sand was going to change colors, just because I am not really watering it. So other than that, that's my only real complaint. Now you could have put rocks in it. I know in the original, I think in the original one, she put rocks and she had some driftwood and stuff, but I had seashells and I just used some moss out of my yard with the little flowers that we have that grow in my yard. And I had some sand that I had already got from the beach, so I used that. And the soil I had already had because I plant all that stuff during the springtime anyways. So all this stuff was pretty much easy to get if you don't have it on hand and it's relatively easy to find and I think there is a ladybug living yeah there's a little ladybug living in my terrarium okay sure <laughs> he's like up in the corner here he's just chilling there oh well that's what they want to do but um this currently lives by my window sitting in my art room so yes so, I will let y'all be the judge on whether or not that worked or if it failed. I will leave what everything that I use down in the little drop box for you down in the description thing. Um, and like I said, just check out her original post because that is where I did get most of my information from and I will link all that down there. But um, I can't remember the girl's name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really can't. I'm horrible with names. So I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name, but I will, like I said, this is not my original idea. So I will leave everything that I have access to and I'll leave it down there just so y'all can go check out the original. But, um, because this is my take on it. So this is what I have pretty much. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of little witchy kind of, you know, weekend thing. It's different from my normal crafts except for the one fairy garden I think we did with the crystal ring in it which was really really cute and I love doing these kind of things and I want to find more. I know I want to probably do um, a wand and a pendulum one with us here soon so I'll go ahead and see if I can't get all the stuff for that and show y'all how I make those kind of things. But um Anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, you know, and if you've done stuff like this, leave me a comment or tag me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll more likely see it on Instagram, honestly, because I'm kind of on there a bit more. But, um, yeah, so just remember to hit that subscribe button, guys, if y'all like this and y'all want to keep seeing stuff from me. And I will see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope y'all have a lovely rest of the week. Bye, guys.